Hi Cancer, it's Elle here to do your mid-May 2019 general reading. It's a general reading so it will not resonate with every Cancer, every Cancer who views the video. For, so just don't get too caught up on that. If it doesn't resonate, it's alright. Check another sign, uh, your moon or rising or what's another reader. Um, let's jump right into it. I've got a spread for love. I was led to do an additional spread for love and then one for career and finance. Okay, so how the cancer feels about a particular person or situation in love. This is we have the night we have the ace of pentacles, the hermit card, the seven of swords. Two of Cups, Knight of Pentacles. Okay. So this is a situation where there's a Cancer who, who wants to, who is in separation from a particular person, maybe an air sign, Capricorn, Virgo, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. It could be anyone, right? Um, they now realize what a nine year cycle or nine year period was about it could be more than nine years they understand who or what this person meant to them in this separation this is a cancer who's done a lot of self-reflection they understand they're feeling the loss of this friendship they understand that they may have not treated a particular person right or they may have not treated them in the best manner when they had them and now they want to make a plan of action to either trek backwards and out of a situation that they're already in they're definitely grieving or feeling the loss of of this friendship of this love that they had with a particular person because the two of cups and the knight of pentacles is here they want to now offer real stability in uh what they deem as a successful mutually beneficial relationship they may even want to get engaged take things to the next level move in together with this particular person the cancer is feeling this way about someone and this may be all of a sudden this may have come out of the blue in regards to maybe something un unforeseen uh, something unexpected there's a complete energy shift in the cancer's life and now they know what it is to be without or to be yeah to be without this person or to be without their presence or their friendship and their energy now they want to offer something solid and true so we want to see how the person that the cancer is in a relationship feels okay so this is for the cancers out there who are in relationship how this person feels is the strength card the prince of swords the justice card the nine of cups the star and the nine of wands okay. for some of you that are in relationship this part your, your partner wants to heal the problems in this connection they want to essentially essentially rebuild um they want to continue building with you or or if trust was lost if trust was compromised they want to heal this situation they're trying to have strength and taming themselves in regards to 
either flying off the handle or going and doing exactly what they want to do. They may have apologized to you and their the real wish is to restore this, is to heal the situation, to heal the relationship that may be on the brink of an ending. They want to reel it back in. You guys may be energetically, you know, separate, separated. Like you may live in the same home, but there's not a lot of interaction. There's not a lot of talking. There's not a lot of doing stuff together. Could be a Leo, Aquarius, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. It could be anyone. Everybody's here. But this person wants to heal the connection. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, everybody's here. It could they want to rebuild, regroup, let's refocus, let's reel it back in. Let's make this work. We're going to clarify on the other side to see if the Cancer wants to make it work with this person. We also have a spread for the person that Cancer, because Cancer's energy is being without, you know, in separation from a particular person or a particular energy. So we didn't, so I did another spread. How does the person that Cancer is coming to the reading for, the one that they are not in communication with, how does this person feel? So this person feels like the Ace of Wands, the Ten of Swords, the Seven of Wands, the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Cups. Altogether, this person is blocking the Cancer out energetically, maybe even physically, maybe blocked on phone, social media because of the betrayal, maybe the hurt, the pain that was caused in the past. Maybe because of an ending. This is also an ending. Um, whoever this person is, they got the, the energy, the motivation to cultivate their own health, wealth, and happiness after such a troublesome time maybe with the cancer they decided to block this out completely they're almost blocking out what is destined to happen they might be blocking out or stalling destiny um and trying to offer their cup firstly to themselves and then they're open and willing to give love and, and to receive it. But their their mind, their heart is looking away from the past. So they are not 100% focused on the relationship. There's a deep inner knowing that this may come back around. And that's why they keep blocking your energy out, Cancer. But look what's on the bottom of the deck. <laughs> so funny, right? The Two of Cups. And you get the Two of Cups in your energy also, Cancer. You feel like this person that you are not in contact with, you're not in communication with. Um, you feel like this could be a successful relationship or it was at one time. You feel like it's mutually beneficial. You feel like it, it fits you perfectly. You, they feel this way too. But it looks like maybe there's a person who... This is a person who feel like they had to regain their stability by blocking out this energy. So we're going to clarify on the other side. Um, how this turns out. For the person that the Cancer is in a relationship with, day-to-day -day communication, maybe it might not be so great, but they're still in a relationship. And then the person that is off, separated, in the wings, not really concentrating on this relationship. We're going to see what happens there. So then we also have um, a career and finance spread. So. What governs the career and finance spread is the four of diamonds. So there may be a large sum of money. Someone wins the lottery. There's inheritance here. 
large sum of money comes in for the cancer uh, we have the seven of hearts the three of spades the nine of hearts seven of diamond and the ace of diamond okay so this looks like there's some cancers who may do some um like commission based work or like they sell something um at one time you thought like this wasn't going to work out some of you left a particular job to go to another job where you were doing something on a on a larger scale but it was the same type of selling or direct you know um like e-commerce or like hand-to-hand -hand sales whatever this is that you you left whatever job you left or divorced or got fired from or whatever it was complete wish fulfillment because good news money news maybe even baby news came in after this something that allowed you see some of you went about like you were pounding the pavement in regards to your sales and commission now if that's really like pounding the pavement or that was cold calling or making several phone calls or reaching out to contacts what comes in for you is um, the work you've done the return the the return on your investment of doing the work and feeling like it was going nowhere now it comes in for you a large sum of money once again or a new start some of you switched jobs and now it's bringing you even more money but you're doing kind of like essentially the same thing but on a different scale maybe larger or um, a greater title career finance looks good so don't worry about that but we're going to clarify um, over at the website to see what this ace of diamond is in your career in finance so for, for career finance, we got decisions and join in. So some of you need to join. Like there might be a sector or a group of people who do what you do. There might be some networking that you need to do. You need to join in. You have decisions to make. Uh, seven of hearts. Lots of options here. Are you going to start your own thing? Or are you going to continue with a particular company? That's what I just heard. I don't know. Um, for love and romance, you got ask others for help and you're ready. So we're going to clarify what this is uh, over at the website. Ask others for help and you're ready. We see the cancer making a plan or, yeah, making a plan of action in secret you're ready to do that ask others for help you might need to go to some expert like a counselor therapist someone who has an expertise and so ask others for help in regards to maybe how you feel about a certain situation speak about this to someone okay so let's go over to the website and clarify this thank you cancer for tuning in um Let's clarify and see what's going on here, okay? Um, the link is below. It's always $2 to gain a bit more clarity about your situation. Um, yeah. So, if you feel like it's resonating and you want a bit more clarity, go ahead and click that link below. 
Thank you, Cancer. Know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well. Take care.